Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to peek in on space weather. Then we have one top story is an online preprint that won't go into physical print until July, but which is going to make the blue hair's blood boil. Let's get started with that over at the last 24 hours on our star, where things were pretty quiet. No significant solar flares or filament eruptions, minor destabilization in the northern filament, but it didn't release, and that was about it. Several more filaments are turning in to face the Earth, and those are our top eruption threat for now. This is because the sunspots are underdeveloped. We have several active regions of development, but none have reached critical magnetic power or size. We're watching them for growth as well. Now, let's move to the top science news of the day. Outstanding paper on geomagnetic excursions and reversals, pole shifts, both rapid and long cron events with beryllium records of the events and other environmental proxies. And they find very clear correlations between magnetic pole shifts and major climate events like we're having right now. The paper doesn't say why or how that works, but the volume of other studies we've covered does. Pole shifts amplify particle-driven ozone destruction. They allow for auroral heating to more easily spread equatorward in traveling waves that trigger the global electric circuit. And they allow for cosmic ray high cloud amplification, which traps heat. It's like the entire solar forcing slice of the discussion on display in the most extreme scenario, a pole shift handcuffed together in this major release that comes out in print this summer. Folks, this is really what it's all about, and if I've timed this right, the documentary on the pole shift, sponsored by goldobservers.com, which Earth is in the process of starting right now, is coming out later this year when significant solar, geophysical, and research events are going to come to light. The team has more never before seen or imagined animations of the disaster events we're plugging forward. And for those who missed this in our live stream a couple weeks ago, gold and silver obviously have value now and in times of economic turmoil. But even after the disaster, they are useful. Gold is one of the best electromagnetic blocking profiles, and because it's easy to mold and work, it will likely be the first wires we make after the catastrophe. Silver is antimicrobial and that microparticle ionic release is triggered by touching blood plasma, skin oil, or any bodily fluid. That could save lives. Please catch up with serious preppers who leave no stone unturned. Goldobservers.com Folks, grand opening at Observer Ranch begins today. Next week, we have a big four days, and then the remainder of the season schedule kicks in. Come out and hang with the observers. Even if you can't make it to one of the big events, just let us know you're coming a few days ahead, and I promise your trip will not be for nothing. Stay at the ranch how you want to stay at the ranch. Check the events. Book your stay at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now it's 5 30 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone